All right guys, it's Terry here from For The Love Of Fitness. I just wanted to talk about what I've learned on my calisthenic journey so far. So I started it in December, the start of December 2020, and it's now February the 12th. So a little on eight, over eight weeks, nine weeks. So what I've learned on my journey is, for one thing, I'd say don't get frustrated. So if you're just starting to you're new and you feel like you're not getting anywhere, trust me, be consistent. As long as you're consistent with your training, uh, you will get there. You gotta be smart when you train as well. You can't be training too much, you can't be training too little. You've gotta find the correct amount of time. But as long as you find that and you're consistent with your training, you will get there. Now, I've just pulled off a handstand. It may only be, you know, two, three, four seconds hold, but I finally did it. And just a week before I did it, I thought it was gonna take me months. I thought it was impossible. And all of a sudden, you get it. And it's just like anything. A lot of this calisthenic stuff, you'll be training for it. I'm training for about 11 things at the minute, I've been told. Don't train for too many, train for one or two. I'm not like that, I just train for everything. But I'm progressing really well. I'm training everything twice a week. Excuse that, was my speaker making a noise. And yeah, it's going well, but it just, happens you think you're never going to get there and it happens so don't be frustrated just keep going keep going and keep going the second thing i quickly learned is you really need to warm up before your sessions now i've trained i've done weight training muay thai kickboxing i've done loads of other stuff for like 20 years now and i always knew about warming up but it's so much more important with calisthenics because you can get injured so much you're using your whole body you know what I mean? You're holding your your whole body weight, say on your on your wrist or hanging off, trying to off your elbows, basically trying to do a front lever, back lever. You need to be warming up and quickly. I learnt your wrist. I'm doing a shoulder, a handstand push up off a off a platform. My legs are off a platform. Wrist killed, and you really need to warm those up. I never warm up wrist before, so warm up your wrist properly and warm up everything properly. Spend more time warming up than you would in anything else because you have such a high chance of getting injured. Calisthenics is high intensity, like, you know what I mean? No matter what you're doing, it's tough. So I quickly learned that, so make sure you're doing wrist warm-ups and you're doing everything else. Another thing I learned, which was more clear when I was trying to do handstand, is uh, you need to really take time uh, in your flexibility mobility work. I was having trouble trying to kick up a wall holding a handstand because I wasn't mobile on my shoulders enough. My arms would maybe go up to here. I need them to go back here. Um, so I can do it now. It's because I spend time now every day or every other day doing stretching. I found this guy called Santino Movement on YouTube. He's amazing. Um, just every day stretching out, open up your shoulders, open up your hip, everything. Because if you're not flexible mo um, mobile enough, you're you're not going to be able to do certain moves. You're going to find it impossible. You can't get into certain moves. So you need to be more flexible and you need to be, mo you need to be more mobile to get into these positions. Now, I know that I'm really new to this case, but I've learned so much already. And by putting the work in with the uh, flexibility and mobility work, I really noticed that I progress much easier and I'm, things are much more easy to get into. Just for example, trying to do a back lever with your arms up like that. If you're not flexible enough, in these areas here, you're gonna to struggle to get into that position. So yeah, that goes with all these exercises though. So yeah, flexibility, mobility, make sure you invest a lot of time in, in that area. What else did I learn? Um, so far, I'm playing around with twice a week, three times a week. Um, I was doing twice a week for about six, for about four weeks, and then I upped it to three times a week because I'm doing loads of other stuff, but then I've kind of, I'm having a break now because I've trained a lot, but I'm kind of thinking about going back to two. So you've got to find the best way that works for you. If you're not progressing, um, if you're, I'd say, say you train twice a week and you're not progressing through a certain, um, through a certain skill or exercise, it's taking a long time, you're not seeing any movement, I would say up it to three times a week. That's what I did and it really helped. Uh, I really helped get things moving. I really started seeing more progressing three times a week. Um, they say sometimes you can train things every day, but like I'd say, it's learning of what works for you, what you're doing, how much training you're doing, seeing how you can fit it in, depending on your life as well. So I would say, yeah, just um, 
if you're not progressing, uh, it seems to me going nowhere, I would say maybe up the training. I wouldn't say maybe, yeah, up the training. Um, so yeah, that's that one. My last one is, I wouldn't say that I've learned it. I'm filming all these, all this journey because I'm filming all the progressions because I want to share it with you guys so it can help you in your way. But seeing myself on video, I can really see what I need to work on, whether I'm not flexible in certain areas or where, where things are not quite right. And I can see that I'm doing it correctly by filming. So if, so if I can say anything is film your journey, film your progressions, and it will really help you see where you need to work on. So that's it. It's only been eight, nine weeks. That's all I've got so far. Anything else I'm gonna learn along the way, I'm gonna share with you guys. So take care. If you like that video, like it. If you wanna to subscribe to this channel, you'll get to see all the progression videos that I'm putting through. And if you need to ask anything, ask me in the comments. See you later.